This is a quick video of my emergency bag for filmmaking. This is a pouch that I carry with me regardless of the shoot that I do. It doesn't matter if it's a big crew production or if it's I'm running solo. The idea is that anything within this pouch should help me in any circumstances. So I'm going to walk you through a couple of the things that I've gathered across the three, four years that I've been doing freelance and show you some of the things that I found that are always good to have on your emergency bag. So this bag itself is actually from a Manfrotto drone bag. This was one of those compartments where you could put your essentials. I had the bag a few years ago. I usually like put this on the bottom of my bag and I'll usually put like a lens next to it. So I wanna make sure the lens is protected. But enough said, let's jump into the pouch. So the first item is one of these lens cleaning little things. Honestly, these are just good to have. I like this one particularly because it's quite small, but it's still with like the right press, you get enough force, enough wind out of this. So if you need to clean something, microfiber cloth, usually I'll have one with me in either my pocket or my bag, but I do like to have one as in a little emergency. This is one of those that you just kind of get with when you buy a new lens or glasses. I don't go out of my way to buy things for this pouch. There are usually things that I get on the side or like uh, less quality versions of things that I already have. I'm not putting a lot of effort into like building this perfectly. This is literally backup. I'm hoping to never have to use this pouch. If I have to, like whatever's in here should just work. This is a decent tape. I got this on Amazon and I got a whole kit of different colors. I popped one of these. This is like a gaffer tape. It's quite good, but it's quite thin. So it's not like too much, too aggressive. You can stick to anything, even fabric and things like that. And I think it works just fine. I think it's always good to have tape on you. So usually I'll have it around the bag, but if I don't, I know in the emergency pouch, there is one. This is a little LED. I have a few of these around the house and they also have magnets so they can attach themselves to things. And they're quite durable, to be honest. I like that they're quite solid. That's why I like having them here. USB to USB-C. Honestly, always need these either to charge lights, charge uh, microphones. I always carry with me a power bank, which I carry on my main bag. And then I always like to have extra cables and things like that with me. This is an iPhone charger, very self-explanatory. It's always good to have spare ones. This is a small zip tie in case anything needs to be put together. Nothing particularly amazing about this one, apart from the fact that this one can come loose. So it has a little trigger over here that you press that, it comes loose. So it's not one of those that you have to cut out. This are two clamps. I find that clamps are one of the most amazing tools in filmmaking. Anything you want to attach from a camera to a light to a prop. This is a little ball head. Ball heads, again, always very useful. This one is from Small Rig. Uh, oh, those two guys are from Small Rig as well. This is a little audio connector. So, for example, I mainly use the Wireless Go 2 for microphones, and I'm always terrified that I'm going to forget the cord that goes between the receiver and the camera. So having something like this in my emergency pouch is always kind of reassuring. And this is, honestly, I forgot what these are called, but basically they go into here. And if you have a bigger recorder or recording table, this does the trick. I feel like people often forget about audio. So having a couple of little things of audio related on your emergency pouch is a good call. In the system of audio, these are just spare headphones. These ones specifically, they're from British Airways. These are just the ones that they give you for free in the airport. They're horrible and I rather not use them. But if I need to, this is one of those mini USBs. Uh, not everything is USB-C yet. Clamp. This is a very cheap plastic clamp. The goal with this pouch is to kind of like life-saving situations. You want to be the guy on set that whatever problem, whatever new solution someone comes up to, you can execute. Oh, this is this is very useful and I do recommend you get one of these. This is a multi-tool. I got this at TK Maxx. Nothing crazy about it. It has all your usual things, kind of like knives and filings and bottle openers. Uh, this used to be my main one. Now I have a Swiss army knife one that I use on my day-to-day -day basis. So this one kind of got pushed to the emergency bag. These are incredibly useful. You always going to come to situations where you need some sort of tools, some sort of something. 
Uh, I have one of these in my car and I have one of these in the emergency bag and I have one of these that I carry with me at all times. This is a tripod plate. Good to have. Most of my cameras either have a plate already attached to them that lives in the camera. Have these little clips. Then they're great to hold like paper or filters or like very small things. Because they're so small, I usually carry two of them just to be safe. A couple of business cards because there's always that one person that wants a business card. And it never sounds good if you don't have one. So I usually carry a handful of business cards just in case. As well as stickers. I usually label a lot of my equipment with my sticker. If I'm on set and I realize I have the same charger as someone else and for some reason I forgot to label them, I can quickly do that and there is no trouble. I forgot what these are called, but it's one of those like kind of little square bits. This was one of the latest adds to this pouch uh, because I use a Zoom H6 recorder. If you have one of these cables, you can pop this into the wall and it just runs the whole day. And I found myself in a situation where nobody in the building had one of those chargers. And I felt so stupid because I had so many of these at home. So when you have spare ones, you just pop them in your emergency bag. Now that shouldn't happen anymore. Getting to the end. Handful of batteries. And they're a mixture of AA and AAA batteries. Usually carry around four. And the last two things are a little piece of Velcro. This is the silliest thing in the world. But obviously both sides. And you can peel here and this will glue the things. This will attach anything to anything. And the last but not least is a spare SD card. This is the stupidest thing in the world. This is a 32 gigabyte card. Nothing special about it, but if I know if I forget my memory card case, and for some reason I don't have a memory card in me, I can easily shoot in HD and get away with 32 gigabytes or a spare good memory card. It doesn't need to be anything insane. None of these items are anything special. I don't think anything here costs more than 30 pounds, to be honest. And I didn't buy any of this for this pouch. I didn't even buy the pouch for it. I know we always kind of panic when it comes to filming that we're going to forget something and end up bringing it too much. This is my solution. Often used, but don't always need. These usually kind of helps me get away with whatever I need to do. But I said, let me know if you have any alterations that you would do to this or anything you suggest me adding to this. But that's all I have for you today.